All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing Zion by Alexander Your Fragrances. And if you're a member of Fragcom, then you may be familiar with this one. If not, no worries, because I'm going to tell you. Now, I've had this one in my collection for about five months or so, and obviously, at that time frame, I've had some time to get some wearings in. Since receiving Zion, I've done an unboxing video with first impressions, and I think I've mentioned this one about three or four different weekly fragrance rotation videos. Now, most of you are familiar with Alexandria fragrances, but if not, they are a independent fragrance house, and they pretty much specialize in luxury and niche clones. Now, each of their fragrances come in their standard presentation, which is pretty easy when you want to pull it out. And fuck the box. Fuck the box! This particular fragrance is a recreation of the more popular niche fragrance Elysium by Roja Dove, which to my nose gives off the sweet, fresh and fruity vibe, and it really created some buzz in the online fragrance world. Therefore, inspiring Alexandria to recreate it, creating this thing, Zion. I like the name, Zion. It's almost like Lion. All their bottles have nice distribution. Yeah, it's dope. To me, Zion is a succulent blend of citrus and fruity notes. You have apple, lemon, lime, and grapefruit on the top. And though they are most notable in the top, I also believe they remain present throughout the entire life of the fragrance. But as it transitions and transforms throughout the life of the fragrance, that citrus is really cut and toned down by some of the woody notes and sweetness in the base and heart of this fragrance. To me, this one gives you a lot of bang for your buck and it's definitely a statement maker. And as a statement fragrance, this is one that you wanna pull out when you want to impress someone or if you're looking to stand out from the crowd. In terms of performance, during my time with this fragrance, I've gotten about six to eight hours of longevity and a solid almost two hours of projection almost every time I wear this fragrance. Historically speaking, the compliment factor has been high when wearing Zion. And I also allowed someone I know to take this with them on a trip. You guys may remember this from like a, this might have been the first weekly fragrance rotation. I had this one in, but I allowed him to take this one on a trip with him. And when I asked them how did this work, you know, how did it perform? Their response was, I couldn't keep the biddies off me. For those of you who are like, what are biddies? Those are women. And if you're a single man, that is a great thing. And honestly, I'm not sure what's better. The fact that he couldn't keep the biddies off of him or the price point on this one. And when you compare this one to the original, the Elysium by Roger Dove, I mean, this is like a quarter of the price. Zion can be found on the Alexandria Fragrances website, but listen, man, these things fly off of the shelves. The 30 ml goes for 40 bucks and the 60 ml goes for $60. Listen, you that's not a bad price at all. Even if you were to pick this one up and not like it, um, again, you can give this to someone and still be great. I don't think that's gonna be the case though. Honestly, when I first smelled Elysium, that was actually sent to me by Mr. Siaj in a sample decant. He sent me like his spring rotation. He sent it to me and I wasn't like a fan of Elysium, but when I got this one in, I liked this one immediately. So I was going back and forth between the two and I, Elysium began to grow on me, but I still personally like Zion a bit more and obviously with the price point, I mean, you can't beat it. I think Zion is 60 bucks for the, for the bigger bottle and um, Elysium, I think it's 290, so obviously, I mean, it's a huge difference in prices for, in my opinion, damn near the same performance. So, that's what I have for you guys. If you are looking to pick this one up, I will link it below. Hopefully it's still there, man. Last time I talked to Hanny, he didn't have many bottles left, so we'll see if it's there. If it's not, man, hit him up and say, hey, Big Bad B told me, hit you up. You need to make, you need to re-up, all right? That's all I got for you. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bad B. Don't forget to like, Comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And hit the goddamn bell.